Hey everyone, welcome back to String Cheese and Applesauce, where today we're doing another Mock Monday. So um, last Monday we looked at the trees that I have in my Lego city. So I'm going to continue with the streetscape theme of, this is kind of one of the modules from my Lego city. It's basically my typical street layout. Um, basically I have these modules that are that are consistently the same as far as the way they connect to each other and they look like a completed street. Um, but one of the things that I want to show you is the um, the street lamps. So it's just little details like this that help um, make the street kind of look like a actual Lego City street. Of course, you have the the fire hydrants, but we've seen these before um, in a lot of Lego sets, and you can see it's only five pieces there. Um, so the street lamp is a, a custom lamp that I have made for my. Lego City. So we're basically going to build one from scratch. As you can see, it's um, black, uses um, quite a bit of Lego Technic elements. So let's go ahead and look at how we're going to build this. So we start off with this one or two by two round brick, and you see it has a, um, a Technic axle hole in the top. So what we're going to do is use one of these axle joiner pieces, just a black Technic axle joiner piece. Let me move this out of the way because camera's trying to focus on the city street instead of my hands. So we have a uh, too long axle. We connect that in there. So that makes a strong foundation. Then we're going to create connect this blue half axle, half Technic pin. Then we have a Technic pin joiner. So now we can see we're kind of creating this base element. Now we're going to connect this little axle joiner that has a too long pin on it. Now this pin will only go in one distance because you can see it starts to hit that blue pin through there, but that's fine. It's uh, not very critical. So now we have this uh, seven long, what is this? This is a eight long, it could be whatever length you want, but it's a, a black Technic axle. And at the top, we put this 90 degree axle connector. So you can see that's more or less the where the top of the, the lamp starts to bend. Now we have these pinholes on both sides. So I, I didn't want a hole there. So what I, what I did is just took a black stud and the stud element will actually go inside of those pinholes. So you can see it just fills it in, kind of gives it a little bit of different um, style or look to it. So that helps. So we put another too long axle in there. And this is kind of where you can start to kind of make it either a street light, like a, a, a traffic signal. If you put a longer axle on here, you can have that coming out and you could put street signals on it. Now I'm just using it for a lamp. So I didn't want it sticking out too far, so I just went ahead and put a too long axle on there. And then we have this um, axle joiner with a pinhole on the end. So that just goes like this. So there's kind of the, the L shape top of my, my street lamp. So similar to what we did here, I'm gonna cap this off with a black stud. And then on the bottom side, I'm gonna put another stud. So we've got that same kind of stud detail. And then the lamp itself, all it is is a black dish with two trans clear studs to create the light piece. And that is simply the street lamp for my Lego city. You can see the one over here already built. And that's it right there. So two street lamps. Easy, easy little construction. So the, the techniques are, are really, how do you make this look like a, a pole and then still give it actual structural stability to actually withstand being bumped or, or falling over and broken? So um, the key is the Technic element. So Technic in general is just such a strong construction that I try to implement as much of it as I can in a lot of my Lego city builds or any type of mocks that I do. 
and you see it pulled off real well in like Lego Ninjago sets and some Star Wars sets. There's a lot of Technic frame elements in there. It really makes for a strong construction. So that's key if you want something strong. I mean, if you try to do bricks, if you just use like round bricks or something, and as soon as you do this, it's going to fall over. This Technic construction, I'm doing all kinds of pushing and pulling and flicking and nothing is coming off. So use as much Technic as you can to make it look realistic and fit in with your city. So there's a ton of Lego system elements, like this round brick has the axle hole in it. There's a lot of Lego elements that you can connect Technic pieces to. You can see just that one connection and then the rest is all Technic all the way up here. So very good little build. Like I said, you can make this kind of whatever you want. I think really the key is getting this element in here to make it really, really strong. So there you go. That is the mock Lego City street lamps from my Lego City. Put a comment down below. Make sure to check out the video and see how the trees are made. There's a tree right there. Um, let me know your thoughts. Tell me um, if you have any cool techniques that you use to make your street lamps or Lego City trees or anything else. I'd love to hear it. So thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos and we will see you next time.